Hello everybody, welcome to this new session. Today I will uh, speak about the way you can ingest easily data using the Elastic Agent, using Elastic uh, Cloud. So uh, let's start. So I, I have already uh, deployed an Elastic Cluster, but basically if you want to create a new deployment, what you have to do is always the same thing. So do a deployment, let's call it something. And then choose the settings. Here, you need to make sure that you have the uh, integration server deployed because this is one of the things we are going to use. It's available by default, so basically you have nothing to do. And if you want to also collect from some data uh, from some uh, website, for example, then you have to um, to, uh, to sorry to, to let uh, enterprise search available. So which is the case by default. So I'm not going to deploy everything here because it's it's already done. So I have my deployment here, this one. And as you can see, I have everything. So the integration server, the enterprise search server, and of course my elastic search instances, including a tiebreaker, and my Kibana instance. So let's open Kibana. And everything has been set for us. I don't have to do anything else than what I'm going to show you uh, today. So I have my deployment, and the first thing I want to do is to add some integrations. So let's go here and add some integrations. Here you have a very big list of whatever you want to, to add to your, um, to your monitoring, to your observability platform here. So let's have a look, for example, at system here. And let's add this one. So I want to add the system and I want to monitor a host, which is already running. So I have a host here, which is running. And I want to add a monitoring of the, the, the system. So I can just click here to add the system. So let's give it a name. You can select the settings that you want. Here, it's a Win, um, Linux instance. So I'm not going to uh, ask for to collect the Windows event log. You can select whatever you want, and you can give, uh, uh, you, you can attach this agent to to a policy. So let's call that uh, daily bytes. Why not? And save and continue. Okay, so this is going to create all the infrastructure that I need. Uh, for example, uh, some uh, uh, keys that I, I will need to to, to use. So the next step now is to add the Elastic Agent to my host. So let's follow the, the guide. So let's do that. Here, you we can uh, enroll the agent in Fleet. So you have to basically follow the documentation. Let's do that. We go to here. So you just go to the, you, you just download the, the, the one that you want to, to download and then you have to install it. So I have already done that. I have already downloaded the, the package here. Uh, so this one, the Elastic Agent. And what I need to do now is to actually uh, install it. So in the documentation, I did not uh, show you the documentation, but here, because I'm using a Debian system, I have to use the dpkj command here to install the, the agent. So let's do that. So this is going to happen. And while this is installing, what I can do is to here to enroll actually the, the agent. So the way you enroll the agent, so for Debian, it's written in the docs, but basically I'm going to copy paste this line here and I'm going just to adjust it. So let's do that here. And here I'm going to call the Elastic Agent. And this time, everything is ready because I'm using the Debian installation. So I just have to enroll here the agent and pass the token that has been generated and the endpoint. So let's do that. So this has been done successfully. So now the next step is to, uh, so let's follow the guide again, is to here. Uh, oh, sorry, it's written in the documentation, actually. Uh, it's to enable the agent and start the agent, the Elastic Agent. So let's do that. So now the Elastic Agent has been started. So it should 
uh, already collect information. So the agent has been able to retrieve the information uh, from the agent server, the integration server that we saw, and everything has been deployed on the agent to collect uh, the, the host information. So let's look at the assets that are provided by default. And for example, what we can look at is the metric system host overview. So if everything is okay, we should see that few things are already collected out of the box. As you can see, nothing uh, uh, hard to, to do here, just follow the guide, install the information and everything has been deployed for us. So this is the host overview and you can have a look at the system overview if you wish. So let's go back to the host overview and we can generate, for example, some traffic here. So those are the the, the, where is the, the network traffic, for example, no, not, not a lot of, of things are happening here. So I can use uh, an application that I'm using sometime to send data to an Elasticsearch cluster, and we will see if that information is collected uh, by the agent. So let's look at this now. Yeah, we should see the, the, the traffic increasing. So let me refresh a bit. Um, yes, so the traffic is increasing here. Uh, so this is what we can see uh, here. So uh, what else we can do? We can add, uh, for example, um, another uh, agent. So let's go back here to the integrations and we can add another one. So let's add, for example, one I like a lot, which is OS query. Um, Let's add the OS query manager, so it's easy as this. So you just have to select that I want to deploy this to the same policy that we have, deploy the changes. So automatically, again, the agent which is running on my host is going to be uh, updated with this new configuration. And we will be able to send then some queries to, uh, to, to, the, to the hosts, which are uh, running with this uh, agent. So here, for example, we can run a query on all the agents. I have only one here. And we can, for example, select with this um, OS query um, uh, format uh, the, 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 the information that we want to get. For example, we want to get uh, the, the ETC host file on every single machine then we can just do that. So this is going to be run on all machines and we, we, we are going to get back the response from all the hosts here. So this is basically what you can see. So uh, I think I'm running out of time. So that was a quick introduction. As you, as you saw, uh, everything was available out of the box, nothing complex to, 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 to deploy. Um, in the next session, uh, we, it will be about making all those deployments that I did manually by clicking uh, even more automatic using uh, Terraform, and Alex will cover that uh, tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.